Hello, my name is Alistair Bell. I'm a senior classifier with NVDC, which is part of Holstein UK. I'm based in Northumberland and have been classifying for the past 21 years, at present covering areas through Northern England, Scotland and Northern Ireland. Linear assessment makes a part of the classification visit. This is a useful tool to highlight the strengths and weaknesses within your herd and give you a direction when you're choosing a sire to breed the type of cow that suits your system. Now we're going to look at one of those linear traits. Today, we'll be looking at the linear trait for udder depth. Udder depth is measured at the lowest part of the udder floor in relation to the animal's hock. If the floor of the udder is level with the hock, that linear is a two. Below the hock is a one. The linear scale goes up three centimeters per point until you have a shallow udder at a nine. The heifer in this video has a deeper udder and would linear a three. A deeper uddered heifer usually has a higher milk yield but a shorter lifespan. This is because the udder may be more difficult to milk, may become bruised and have an issue with cell counts. This isn't desirable. This heifer's udder is in the intermediate range and would linear to six. This would give the heifer a balance between milk production and a good lifespan in the herd. This heifer has a shallow udder and would linear a nine. A shallow udder like this may mean the animal lacks dairy character and has a lower milk yield. A lower milk yield may give the animal longevity, but she would also run the risk of being culled due to lack of production. An acceptable linear range would be between five and eight. And this should give you a balance between milk production and lifespan. The animal in this photograph is the one that linears a six.